Okay, folks, blew it up to a thousand, or no matter what, it's here. And uh, I want to thank, and basically, I just try to, and I think it's real cool, and I think most everybody that he or she who sent me this knows who found this. And big heads, and big, uh, you know, go ahead and make a comment about you being the one finding it if you want your name in there. Uh, otherwise, you know, just thanks for letting me know about it. And basically, what I'm doing is I'm scanning down at the thousand, and I'll get over to the right, and I'll show you what time it was right at the straight 100, 1900 hour. Now, what I propose to be what it could possibly be without even looking at any data yet. It's going to be something no matter what because you see it and it, what it is is more than likely we have a thin aurora at the South Pole and at the North Pole. More more thin at the South Pole. If you want to go to some of the Japanese stuff they will or even any of the, of the data on thin auroras you'll probably find out about it being thin or most thinnest points are at the North and the South Pole, and mainly the South Pole. Now, uh, let me pop to 400 here, why? So you know that I'm basically not playing with you at all. And there it is, okay, to the right, okay. And that's what I had in at a thousand, and I'll pop it back to a thousand. And basically, first I'll pop it out. And then I'm really not going to play with the movie much because basically, you're not going to see much of anything else. This is it at that right at 1900 UTC. Uh, I can give you a step. There you go, gone. You see that? So bleeding through Aurora, there you go at 19. And there's no way that it can be, a, you know, it's not a hologram of anything, okay? Uh, I'll hit start and let it play too, I suppose, so you realize, but let's pop it up to a thousand again so you see what it, what it looks like. Well, no matter what, it is thin Aurora or something because whammo it's there. Either that or it's actually light from one of the supergiants or a star somewhere in space that all of a sudden shows up. But it sure looks like you see a grouping of either that of, of either, uh, you know, uh, craters that we would call like on anything. It's, it seems like the catch word that everybody uses for uh, something that's got an indention on it, a planet star object anything in space because of the moon we've called them craters okay so anyway you can see dark spots there and you can see that it's not perfectly round and yes it does not bleed through here but is it a severed piece of a planet or a star or is it a uh we know from seeing jpl uh artistics of high speed telemetry that certain uh, asteroids, meteor belts, meteorites, uh, asteroid belts, uh, objects that are, you know, it's an object. It's, a, it's somewhat classified, but it, then they have an object number for it because they find it on radar, you know, out in space. Or they get it off of a Soho picture or whatever. Uh, so there you go. And what, no matter what, it is there there is something there and the only thing that I can suffice is it's either a slice from a planet hitting sometime or it's uh, and it's basically a comet a very slow moving asteroid or maybe it's very fast too but it uh, you can watch the movie uh, and have it play and I mean, basically I'll let it play now I'll go down here and we'll hit play I'll pop it down to like so you know that I'm not playing with you. you know, I never play with you with photos. There it is. Okay. Now we could do a check too, but it, it's not round enough to be the moon. And I don't think it's even round enough to be Jupiter or anything else like that. Jupiter, Venus, Mars, or anything like that. So, And I'll even try to check the chart real fast. Let me hit play here for a second. And you can... I'll get it down to 100 and... What? Can we go to 125 for a movie play? And let's hit play. There you go. Here comes a 19. Whammo, it's there. Okay, so that was it. And then by the sun, they block out something right there. You can't miss that. Okay, scoot down. There you go. There you go. Okay, so that's blocked out there. Let's scoot across. And 
doesn't really matter. Mercury and Venus should be somewhat. But then you figure out and find out. You go take time. I don't have time every time for every shot. But stereo A ahead. So you go see what would be on a map today. On stereo ahead. Stereo A is view. And see what that would be. More than likely should be Mercury and Venus, I would think. But then you don't. You got to take a look. And then CME action, and then are sure the hell since these are flaring good, and these, and yes, I know there's sometimes there's lazy ones, but we know that there's layers, and as you can see with the photo squares and so forth, sort of like sure the hell looks like that's M55 or mass 50 or whatever the 50 number of M, because that's what they call it, mass. It's mass 50, mass 55, and pretty much just reminds us the exact same position and everything like that. The one that the uh, that the uh, Catholic Church astronomy thing paid and had a telescope go up on one of the uh, space shuttles a long time ago, okay, and to get a better look, okay. So the whole world wants to know what that is, and then wow, right there, you know, you got a big lob right down there. So very interesting, beautiful Soho shots, Lasco, okay, stereo, Sechi, whatever, so forth. I ain't got time to go into Sechi and stuff like that right now. We can go ahead and take a look at that tomorrow. And there you go on this shot. And let's go up and see what's going on with CMEs and stuff like that coming around. And there's... And remember, so this is the opposite side out there in space for what we've seen on that A-head shot. Okay. So, and as you see, the flare is full on the back side. Okay. So, once again, like I'm saying, and let's see what we got for time. 22.55. 21.55. So an hour's difference in shot, but as, it, as we see an hour difference in shot in this side is not flaring out as far. But then it could be just the time they could sit there and anybody could go on that, I suppose. It doesn't really matter, but it sure the heck looks like that there's something. Because this is totally opposite side of the field out there, okay? And pretty soon, one of these days, we'll have above shots of the sun because they're sending a new SOHO satellite out. Let's go up and see what we got for CME action coming in, and let's, let's take a look at what kind of scars we got. There it is. You got scar in uh, the sun, and let's get to the data. Someone was telling to watch the yellow shots, and I appreciate him telling us that. And, yeah, I guess check that out. Big old flare over there to that side of it. But then, again, that could be just off of the sun, and I'm not sure if that's exactly what he was talking about, but we still, you can see there's a lot of interesting, even though they could be just CMEs on the sun, they're huge, dark ringed okay and then i guess we'll scoot through these real fast see if there's just something foreign laying around something i don't see anything foreign there really fast so we'll go down and look at some of the electrical telemetry and there you go lots of cme action because the signals are getting broke up pretty pretty good okay that means that there's they're getting solid electrical signals it's just they're getting broke up a lot by a lot of static and as you see there break up two so and we move through some more oscilloscope action and we got cross phasing like crazy folks any electrician will tell you there that's not good motor gonna burn out boom boom gone bang bang okay the sun no probably gonna be just fine just gonna get roughed up a little bit and it'll be interesting its path through the super giants main sequence because this is rough neighborhood I guess bad dark alley okay cross phasing that's not good okay so and very elevated there also Okay, so let's move down to the next phase. Let's see what kind of action we get off of these graphs. And there you go, spiking like crazy. Okay. And let's go some more. Oh, wow. Holy moly, girlies. So, like I was saying, folks, when I seen that big three phase before it did that cross phase that you see now, and then that's, that's the most, I mean, all this is not, you know, this is very... I mean, it's, <laughs> it's highly abnormal. And then uh, let's take a look at wow, is there up here again? So you remember what I'm talking about cross phasing. Okay. That's cross phasing. Okay. That is not good. Okay. Throw that motor away. We're getting ready to check and change it out. And meg the lines. All right. Now, let me see. Because we have to change those too. Okay. Now, that's electrical here on Earth, folks. But anyway, so uh, those would be some uh, earthquake weakness probably Hawaii would be again like I've been saying watch out out there and then let's see what we've got going on on CME action here and they've messed with or they've changed the alignment on that and there you go here's a good real good view so we do look oh man we got massive CME coming hitting us get ready folks get ready to 
lose your cell phone for a while. It might be healthy for you. Healthy for the bees, anyway. That's what's knocking the bees off, folks. Cell tower action. The more and more signals you jam into the spectrum, the more and more the bumblebees don't know where the hell they're going. Okay? And lots of wildlife. Okay? So, and the rads ain't no good either. Fuka fudge up. So that's the massive CME coming to Earth. The yellow spot is Earth, folks, and we're going to get whammoed. So let's see when we're going to get whammoed. Let's see if I can get the date in there. Let me go down to size. Check it out for your own eyes. Watch this clock up here. 7th, 8th, and 9th. Okay. And I don't know. I've zoomed in, I guess, the 7th. Let's see if I can get this to stop, I guess. But you're going to see on the 7th. Bammo on the 7th, folks. See that? See that CME move away as it hit Earth on the 7th. Okay. 7th, 8th, and 9th. Okay. Yeah, M class flares, folks. M class flares. Forget flare, M class flares, okay? And like I say, they're getting so much bad activity up there that they're not even getting a good shot from the satellites on the axis. Okay, they're saying they're doing an update. More than likely it's got hit with some big with that first M class that we had on the 4th probably or something like that. So and like I say, then they start blinking here. They don't want you to see that big ass CME coming off of there. So I've already showed you back up through the footage, folks. So get ready to lose some cell tower action or, or something. If you got old transformers in your area, they're gonna you might have some power losses too somewhere. So anyway, and if we fare all good through everything, then there is nothing. And then everything's been updated so doggone good that the idea that we more than likely would have to get I don't know. But testing, 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 because every time we get those, it's not good for anything electrical down here on Earth. It's not good to having to go on the ground. Okay, so eddies. So we got CMEs coming in. And that just hit, and it's like on the 7th it's going to hit. Okay, and there's the 8th, 9th. It's in a little bit slow-mo, and then it'll come back through. And that's the sun right here. There comes the CME action. That's going to hit Earth, folks. This is Earth right there. Let me show you the legend. That's Earth. Okay. This is going to speed up now. That should be there in the 7th. There, bam. On the 7th. Let me get down a little size here. We'll go to 200. And you'll get a good idea. And that's our path out there that, that Earth keeps following. And as you can see, it's starting to whip. So, there's the clock. Keep the dates there, and then you can see the CME hit Earth. So, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I wonder if I got the coronal over here on the right. Now, the coronal's in the other shot. All right. So, as you can see, uh, one good thing about satellites is at least it's going to absorb and take up a little bit of electrical shock, all these satellites that are out there. So, we got CME action coming, folks. It's going to hit Earth. Okay, that's going to hit Earth. That's no miss. That's a direct tail whammo. At least we're not getting the hell. We're getting some ready shack, and it's going to be pretty damn close. So, holy buckets. So, 2.8 uh, Midwest there, and. The thrushes thing is there's like a 4.6 or something over in over in Ukraine or in Russia or something like that. Asia. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll hit the uh, data, and we'll also pick the slider and see what kind of looks like a 4.7 up in Yukon territories or something, Northwest territories. See that 4.7? It's kind of pinkish there. 5.1506 but there was, like I say tell people about the Alaska stuff that there was a 7.1 7.3 7. Uh, 0 and so forth and so on they had some pretty heavy ones here before fall last year sometime 2011 after Fuka Fudge up there were 7.0s during the latter part of 2011 up in Alaska no one really said much about it it was all hushy hushy so and then we'll give you like that's about 12 days or something like that Okay, 12, 14 days, something like that, and then they refresh it.